She's called Madame Euro. She's dying and she's um, sort of languishing in, 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 the, in her last post with a Chinese man machine. And they have this um, sadomasochistic affair of need and resentment. Maybe people see a shock value in it, but I hope not, because it is deeply, I think, um, sad. I think the film is sad and I felt sad and I felt angry making it. So it's truthful and so truthful can be shocking. Well, I think the hardest part is the filming. So they, they are because there is a lot of arranging and I do a lot of things, so it's, it's crazy and I'm really um, stressed out during them. But I love uh, the editing part. I, I just absolutely love it. And then I love the sound design. It's, 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 it's intriguing because when you're doing that, the film is almost finished and you can just give it another deep layer with the sound design. So I think my films are more audiovisual, you know, art than, than, than even film. I love uh, Bergman's persona, Cries and Whispers. I love um, Chantal Ackerman's um, Jean Dielman. I love um, Pasolini. But then again, I, I don't know how much they have influenced my work. I don't watch films while I'm working with a film, because I don't think it's a good, a good idea. But I love strong filmmakers, political filmmakers. I don't like entertainment. I don't entertain myself, hardly ever. Entertainment is not my thing. Perhaps it's because I started as a singer and I've seen that part of my life. You know, I don't look for that anymore. It's the past. I don't need that. I want to wish the Locarno Film Festival a very happy, Happy birthday for the 75 great years.